Welcome Rockstar, Coach Deisha here bringing you a lower body circuit hit workout. Thank you for joining me today. So today you're going to need some equipment, so grab some weighted objects like some dumbbells or some gallons of water, some cans of food, whatever you have handy. And I also recommend having an elevated surface handy, like a chair or an ottoman, whatever is nice and sturdy for you. With that said, we're going to jump right into this. So we're going to start with some squats to reverse lunges. So standing tall in the middle of your mat, feet hip distance apart. You're gonna engage that core, belly button is up and in, pelvis is slightly tucked, and your shoulders are back and down. Now shoot those hips back if you're sitting into a chair and drive those heels, squeezing the glutes to the top. And then you're gonna step straight back with that right foot for a reverse lunge. Drive that front heel to stand at the top again. And squat, drive the heels. Step back with the left foot this time for that lunge and drive the front heel. Great work. Keeping that core engaged, that chest up, and your knees are actively tracking along with those toes, both through the squats and through the lunges. You're doing great. Five more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. All right, so moving on to our first cardio intensive move. We have some sumo squat thrusts. So you're welcome to do this in a tall plank down on your mat, or you can join the elevated. You'll also have options to do low impact or high impact. So you just listen up and I'll give you those. So, bending your knees, you're gonna plant your hands beneath your shoulders and step it back to that tall plank. Now, you're gonna step it forward wide with your feet slightly turned out for that sumo squat stance. Drive those heels to stand and repeat. Plant your hands, step it back, step it up, drive those heels. Great work. That's your low impact. That's your high impact. You can jump it up and you can jump up as well. Trying to land as quietly as possible. If you're doing those jumps, knees are still tracking line with those toes. Let's do one more. Great work. All right. Now for a nice core move, we're going to move down to our mat. You can grab some weighted objects, bending your knees bringing out inside you to the under back here. Now, go ahead and engage that core. Your belly button is up and in, your pelvis is slightly tucked, so your lower back is gently pressing into the mat. Whew. Now grab those weighted objects, and you're gonna press them straight overhead, right above your chest, your wrists facing toward your feet. Maintain that core engagement, you're pressing your shoulder blades, down and back into the mat. And now, without lifting your hips off the ground, you're gonna reach those knees up towards the left elbow, and then tap the toes down, slide it out a little bit, and then reach it up towards the right side. And keep that up. You're maintaining that contact, the lower back on the mat. It's gonna help with that strong core engagement. And you're also welcome to straighten your legs and do it that way instead. Just again, whatever is gonna allow you to maintain that strong core engagement, the lower back contact with the mat. You're doing so great. Take it nice and controlled. You can always move back to bent legs if the straight legs aren't working for you. And last three seconds. Two and one. Bend your arms, drop down those weights. And meet me standing, we're gonna move on to some server pot lifts. So again, you're welcome to do this on an elevated surface or down on the mat. I'm gonna start off with elevated to show you a bit. Now, very similar to those sumo squat thrusts, but we're gonna plant our hands, step it back to that tall plank, and then like you're stepping onto a surfboard, you're gonna step over to the right side and then Drive those heels to stand. And then repeat to the other side. Step over to the left, drive the heels to stand. I'm gonna do this down on the mat now. And you're welcome to take this high impact by jumping to the side, jumping up, planting your hands, stepping back. Keep that up. Three more seconds here. Two, one. So good, y'all. Now onto our final move of the circuit. We have some sumo squats to high pull rows. So 
If you have a variety of weights, grab your lighter ones to start with to gauge where you are. Whew. Catch your breath. Bring your feet quite a bit wider than hip distance for that sumo stance. Your feet are pointing outwards. Weights are in front of you, shoulders are backing down. Now, squat it down, actively track those knees and line with those toes, drive those heels to stand, and you're gonna whew, high pull it up, leading with your elbows, squeezing those shoulder blades together, and then squat it back down. Whew, keeping that core engaged, it's gonna really help the strong form here. Whew, coming nice and controlled. We're going eight to 12 here. So I'm gonna say I'm on six right now. So good. Try not to shrug those shoulders. Really leading with those elbows. Trying not to break at the wrists here. Let's do one more. So good. Bend your knees and drop those weights. Circuit one down, y'all. Let's grab a quick sip of water. And we'll do that all again. Now we know where we're going, we can move through it a little quicker. Really get that heart rate going. All right, you ready? We're gonna do squat reverse lunge again. This time, you're welcome to grab a weight. I'm gonna grab my slightly heavier weight and hold it like a goblet. Here in front, keep those shoulders back and down. Whew. Here we go, y'all. Standing tall, core is engaged, pelvis slightly tucked. Shoot those hips back, drive the heels. Step that right leg straight back, your knees are 90 degrees. Step it forward, squat again. Keep that up. Try not to let your chest lean forward for these lunges like this, but a nice, and straight out, your pelvis is neutral, facing towards the wall in front of you, both the right and the left side. Keep breathing, we're crushing it, keep going. Checking out that your core is still nice and strong, support those movements. Three, two, one. So good. Bend your knees and drop that weight. Onto our sumo squat thrust. If you're welcome to this elevated, if you're welcome to do a low impact or high impact. Let's get to it. Bend your knees, plant your hands, jump or step back, jump or step forward, jump or drive the heels. You're really pressing away through those hands as you jump back, trying to keep those shoulders directly over the wrist. Landing quietly. Woo. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Great work. <laughs> Let's move on to that core work on the mat. Woo. Grab those weights. Get onto your back. Woo. Deep breaths. Get that foundation set up. Lower back, gently pressing into the mat. Grabbing those weighted objects directly over your chest, pressing up, pushing those shoulders back into the ground. Here we go. Bent legs are straight, doesn't matter. Just whichever form is going to allow you to maintain that strong core engagement. So your lower back is staying pressed into the ground. Your hips are not lifting. So good. Deep breaths. Helps to reach with those legs, power them up. Your legs are an extension of your core. It's gonna really help keep this form strong. Oh, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Bend your arms. Grab those weights. 
sweating like crazy here. All right, you ready for the surfer pop-ups? All right, here we go. Knees standing. Bend your knees, plant your hands, drop your step back, drop your step to the right side, drive the heels or jump. And keep that up. Keeping that core nice and strong. So you're jumping up straight like an arrow. Landing quietly. You got this, keep breathing. You're always welcome to move back to low impact. Just keep it moving. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Great work. Take some deep breaths here. We're gonna move on to our sumo squat to high pull row. So grab those weighted objects, bending your knees. So catch my breath. Maybe standing. Feet wide, sumo stance. Here we go, actively track those knees, not with those toes. Drive the heels, lean with your elbows, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Keep that core engaged. You have a nice, strong line from your pelvis to the tip of your head. Try not to arch your spine here. Really relying on the strength of those outer glutes. Eight to 12 here. Not sure where I am. I'm gonna do three more. Three, two, and one. Bend your knees. Drop those weights. Deep breaths. Let's grab some water. We're working it today. Whew. This is challenging, but fun. Back. Engage that 
core. Press those weights. Shoulders back into the ground. And let's go. Whoops. Over to the left. Reach it down. Over to the right. Remember, you can always bend your knees. Neither one is better than the other. The best one is the one that allows you to maintain that strong core. Keep it up. We're over halfway there. Don't let those hips lift. Keep breathing. your feet as you go. Lead with the elbows. Squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other. You can also do this without weights. You can still get a great workout. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. You really feel it. So good, y'all. Keep those knees tracking in line with those toes. Three more. All right, three, two, and one. Whew. Bend your knees, drop those weights. Take some nice deep breaths here. Maybe on your knees or sitting. Let's just take nice deep breaths here. One hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. Slow that heart rate down. Thank you so much for showing up today. Showing up for yourself. Make sure you stretch it out while you're nice and warmed up. Cool it down. And please check in with me and let me know what you liked, how you did, I'd love to hear from you. So until we meet again, I'll see you bye.